And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a page curl effect. It's quite simple, there is an inbuilt filter in GIMP. You can apply it directly to the image, go to filter, distorts and there you should find the page curl. It opens this menu. Forget about the first half, we don't need it for this effect. Focus on the curl location first. So it simply dictates from which corner it's going to get curled. You can also make it vertical or horizontal, i show you this. But you can already see a little bit of a preview in a small window. For the drop down we'll use for and background color and it actually makes a difference what is in foreground, so black to white or white to black. Once again I'll show you this. And the opacity is important, so if I set it to zero and I guess by default it is zero, you will have it transparent. And for the most part that's not really what we can use to have a realistic page curl effect. So let me undo this, Control Z, and I increase the opacity to 100, and I keep everything the same. And this is what we've got. And once again, pay attention to the foreign background color. I'll flip it. Reopen the menu, apply everything once more. And now you can see the black is in center and the white is on the sides and it was the other way around when black was the foreground color like this. If you can't see black and white, just click on this little icon right here and it should be black and white. And this is what it looks like if you switch to horizontal instead of vertical. And there's also an option to use the current gradient. But for the realistic effect, you want to stick to 4M background color. So once more, pick that, make it black and white. Preferably with back and foreground, make it 100% and then pick the corner that you want, in this case the upper left. And game does the rest for you and you've got this simple page curl effect created. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.